Hey guys, it's Bren. I'm here with my 2018 Bath & Body Works Candle Day haul. So once a year, Bath & Body Works puts the candles on the biggest sale of the year and people go crazy and I have mixed feelings about this day. Um, the thing that perturbs me about it is that online the sale is not a great sale. It's an average sale online and then in the store it's much better. So it's much better if you actually can go there because online the candles are $8.95 but you cannot combine any other offers. You can't use coupons or anything and honestly I mean, when I buy a candle at a traditional regular sale that they have year round, they're, you know, let's say the $12.95 all three wicks sale, which they do a lot now, like every weekend basically, and at least every other weekend, even throughout the year, candles are around $12.95. And then let's say you put that with a 10 off 30 coupon and you buy two three wigs and then you throw in something for about five bucks, you take 10 off the whole thing, that brings the candles down to 8.75. Like I always get my candles for around $9 each. And so 8.95 plus shipping is, I mean, it's a regular sale price. So I feel that all of the buzz around the online sale and the fact that rewards, the, you know, members with the app get to shop it first and all this stuff, it's like, but it's not a good sale. It just seems like all hype. And I don't know of any other company that does this where you can get a drastically different deal in the store than online, you know, because I'm happy to pay shipping to pay like a little bit more to avoid the chaos uh, and the trouble of actually going to the store. But it's a lot more than that because in the store you can combine coupons. So I had two 15 off 40s because my mom had given me hers and then a 20% off for anything else after that. Plus you don't have to pay shipping. I figured I was gonna save somewhere in the neighborhood of like $40 or so by actually going to the store, which was enough to make me actually go to the store. And I don't know, I just, I would have much rather done it online because for me, I know some people love it. Some people love Black Friday shopping. I have friends who get up and go because it's exhilarating for them and they get the deal and it's awesome. And, but I, I have too much anxiety for that. And it's not the anxiety of the crowds. I'm okay with the crowds, I'm okay with the people. I don't mind that. It's the anxiety over not knowing if I'm gonna be able to get what I want to get. I had a dream the night before candle day that they ran out of French baguette candles and I couldn't get them. I had a dream and that just made me feel like such a brat because <laughs> like such a slave to consumerism because Honestly, like none of this matters and it's such like first world problems and all of that, you know what I mean? And yet I'm having like a dream that I'm gonna panic because they're out of French baguettes. And it's just, yeah, it's more the anxiety of like how many stores I'm gonna have to go to, if I wanna put them in groups of five to get the best deal on the coupon. What if I go to one store and they have four of the ones I want but they don't have the fifth one? Do I put them all down and then go to a different store and maybe they'll have that fifth one I want but they won't have one of the other ones? And it's just like, I don't know, I'd rather just do it online, <laughs> but, you don't get the deal if you do it online. So I ended up going to two stores and I will say the one good thing about it is that they don't do it on Black Friday. If they did it on Black Friday, like I would not, <laughs> I would not. There would be no question almost to the fact that I wasn't gonna go because I just lock myself in my apartment on Black Friday and I don't leave. I want no part of all of that. Again, I know some people love it, but that's just not my personality, <laughs> but I did uh, end up going to this and it turned out okay. It wasn't a miserable experience or anything. It was a terrible weekend for it because I had a cold. I still, eh, like, I don't know, I'm pretty okay. But I had to go to a concert that night too. So it was like, I got four hours of sleep because I was so worked up about the candles because I was like watching them get sold out online and being like, oh, should I have bought them online and all this stuff. It's so stupid, it's so stupid that this even matters at all. But, you know, again, I just have some, you know, I'm very type A and, and if you watched my video about anxiety on my other channel, like I am still coming down from the anxiety of the whole car accident situation. And it, so I've just been really anxious lately, like the past couple of months, like it's slowly getting better, but it's a slow process to come down from something like that for me. So anyway, <laughs> getting back to candle day. So I have a little bit of a cold and I have four hours of sleep and I get up and it's raining outside. <laughs> kind of a little bit like borderline could be turning into icy rain. 
And I was originally, so there's two stores in my area. There's one that's inside a mall and one that's a standalone, which is newer and a white barn combo. And I feel that the one in the mall, the business has been declining since the other one showed up. And the one outside the mall opened at seven, the one in the mall opened at 7.30. And I was just gonna go to that one because uh, one of my Instagram followers, Anissa, she reached out to me, she works there, and she was telling me what time they opened and what candles they had and everything, so I kinda knew what to expect. Um, and so I was just gonna go there, but then I was ready, like I was ready enough uh, and awake and ready to go that I made it to the other store at seven first just because I wasn't gonna like pace around my apartment for 30 minutes. So I show up at like 6.50 outside the standalone white barn. There's a line of maybe like 20 people in front of me and the same, same behind me by the time they opened. And you know, so just standing out there in the cold with my cold, I just ran in and I made a beeline for the French baguettes. I got five checked out 15 off 40 uh which made them come to about 5.95 each before tax not bad the total with tax was like 32 dollars for the five candles and i got out of there i was out of there by 709 that store is so cramped it's so hard to walk around in there on a regular day it's a very tight aisles there was a girl on crutches and i was just like "Woo, you're brave because um i mean it was very hard to move in there I made it to the mall by like 7.20 and went inside the mall and there were only like 10 people standing outside of that store. So much calmer. And by the time I got there, it's like I knew I had, you know, at least five French baguettes, which was the whole reason for me even going to Candle Day. And so I felt a lot more relaxed and was able to like calm down more and like browse and enjoy it a little bit. Um, and that store, uh, they actually, I, I mean, they actually had more of what I wanted, I think. Uh, I didn't look around too much in the first store. I just kind of got what I wanted there and left. But I didn't see any berry waffle cones, and I didn't see any rainforest passion fruits. And so, um, I don't know. The mall had everything that I needed. So that was good. And I ended up getting 15 total. So two groups of five with the 15 off and then the last five I got with the 20% off which those came to like 715 or 716 a candle not quite as good still good so again big discrepancy between what you could get online and what you actually get in the store and I really wish they would let you use coupons online it would just be so much easier and so much less stressful but I know that they're trying to make you go into the store so that you impulse buy more candles I'm sure that's probably what it is but I, again I just can't think of any other companies that it works like that anyway so I ended up getting eight French baguettes which is probably too many and <laughs> I already I already decided I think I'm gonna sell one like you know I don't need eight it's a good candle. It's very like medium throw. Um, I have burned it a couple times now. People are asking me if it's light. I don't think it's light, but it's it's medium. It's not strong. Uh, and I don't know, as I said about the single wick candle, smells very realistic. Now my sister, when I showed her a picture of my haul, she's like, what's a French baguette smell like? And I'm like, oh, it smells like bread. It smells like walking into a Jimmy John's, which was a sub shop that we have here uh, in the Midwest. I don't know if they're everywhere or not, but anyway, uh, and she was like, who wants their house to smell like that? And I, I was like, me, I do. I really like it. But it is probably an acquired taste. And this candle was very hyped. So I knew this was going to be the butter rum eggnog of this year or the merry cookie of this year because, I don't know, there was just a lot of hype around it. And sure enough, it was one of the first ones to sell out online after the sale went live. And every store, from what I'm understanding, only got like a couple cases, maybe three cases of six is what Anissa said they had at my mall store, but I heard several other places, um, there's from several other people that their bath body works only got about that many in as well. So there just weren't a whole lot to go around. I think you had to get there early if you wanted to get it. So I got eight just because, you know, I'm all like, I don't know, you know, if what if it never ever comes back again? I mean, this, you know, it's returning from 2012 for this. I'll probably bring it back in this freaking spring now, I'm sure, you know, right? But here's the thing. So I decided, you know what? I don't need eight. I'm going to go sell one. Popped on Mercury and holy moly, there were so many people already selling theirs for jacked up prices. Someone's trying to sell one for $55. Now here's the thing about Mercury. Um, <laughs> I'm not, I don't feel bad selling a candle for more than I bought it for on a site like that because I also buy a lot of candles for a lot more than list price on those sites. I spend more there than I make. Um, but I, I, I feel that I'm honest about it. Like when I go to a test store now, 
I don't want to run into another prickly pear and sugar cane situation where I bought just one of them and then got home and realized how much I loved it and then it never passed test. So if I'm there and I'm like, I don't know, I think I really like this one, uh, but I'm not totally sure, you know, I'll buy enough. I'll buy like four and then maybe I'll get home and decide, you know what, I only need two and then I'll pop the other two on Mercari uh, because other times I don't go to the test store. And instead I buy them on Mercari and I pay $25 plus shipping to get one candle because someone else can provide that to me at that point. And if I sell a candle and I make five bucks off of it, great. That helps go towards the $200 in gas and miles on my car that it took me to get it. You know, the people that are really lucky are the people that live right next to test stores and can just like constantly be reselling. That's not me. So occasionally I might make a couple bucks on a candle, uh, but I'm gonna spend that. You know, I just bought a peach meringue the other day for like 20 $20 and I, I, um, I bought another popcorn and pine because I decided I, I had sold a popcorn and pine for $24, but Mercury takes a cut. So I only made 21. And then today I paid 31 for one plus shipping because I decided I wanted another one again. So like I just threw 10 bucks out the window, you know, but I think if you're doing it, honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a whole one person's trash is another person's treasure thing. Now, now, and I know I'm digressing and you're all like, where's the haul? Shut up. But whatever. This is a, a conversational video. So <laughs> I'll put where the haul begins in the description box or something. But um, when people deliberately like go online at the start of the candle sale and buy 60 French baguettes with the intent of flipping them for more money on a site like Mercari or eBay, that's shitty because that really takes away from other people honestly trying to get them for themselves. And it's just like ticket scalpers. You know, I get so pissed when I'm trying to buy tickets to a concert and they're all sold out, but they're on StubHub for four times the price because somebody bought a whole bunch of them knowing they were going to be able to flip them. That's annoying. And I don't do that. You know, if I have extras or decide later that I don't need something or whatever, I'm going to sell it for what the going price for that is. And then there's the whole pain in the butt of like packing it and shipping it and having to buy packing material and all that too, of course. Right. Um, so you want to make a little bit doing it. Otherwise you just give it away or something, but, or return it to the store or whatever. But anyway, um, so yeah, and I did see that. I did definitely see people on Instagram saying like, I just bought 50 of them, you know, like, well, have fun at the post office. You know, that's what's happening. But anyway, so I think I'm gonna <laughs> end up keeping uh, seven of them. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I did sell my single wicks because when I got the three wicks, I was like, I don't need those single wicks anymore. I uh, just kept the one that I had burned and that was it. But it's a really good candle. So that was the majority of my haul French baguette. And 10 minutes later, let's get to the rest of the haul. I, I'm, I've missed you guys. I haven't done a video in a while, so I'm chatty. I don't know. All right. So I uh, had to just for myself, and this one was on my list. I wanted this. Uh, I went in and got another. This is Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. This version they call rainforest passion fruit, whatever. I mean, it first came out as Aloha Kiwi passion fruit. Then it came out as Aloha beaches. This is rainforest passion fruit. And then it came out as Aloha Kiwi passion fruit again and, and whatever. It's one of my top favorite scents. And it's probably the only Bath and Body Works scent that's still coming out on a consistent basis that makes it into my top 10. Berry Waffle Cone also does. I don't know. We've seen that twice. If you would still consider that like a regularly coming out scent maybe um but yeah everything else that's in my top 10 is like retired since you can't get any more but I, I freaking do love this and now I think I have every incarnation of it because I didn't have this one before so I picked up just one more of those um I got a uh let's see what else oh and I did pick myself up another waffle cone additionally I hate this packaging and I hate this name I've said that before about this candle but I just, I hate the name of it. I don't feel like the name smells anything like the candle. So one of my coworkers hates this candle because she said that she was just in the store, you know, she's just a casual Bath and Body Works shopper. And she's like, there was a candle, it's called Waffle Cone. And I thought, oh, that probably smells good. And I picked up and smelled it. Didn't smell anything like a Waffle Cone, it was nasty. And I think, yeah, if you were expecting to smell a Waffle Cone, this would smell weird and off-putting because that's not what you get. It should be called Berry Apple Crisp because that's what I think it smells like, but it is one of my favorite scents regardless. So I got one more for me. And then I also, and this is why I really hate the packaging and the name right now, because I got one as a gift. So my favorite bartender, 
because I have a favorite bartender, um, who works up at the vegan brewery that's two minutes from my house where I spend way too much time and money. Uh, he asked me, because he knows I review candles and everything, he's like, I, I, what I want for Christmas is I want your favorite candle. Get me like what you think is just the best. I want to try it. And, you know, I I'm not going to buy him a prickly pear and sugar cane for a hundred bucks on eBay, right? So I was like, well, what's out now that I could get him? And I was thinking about doing like cinnamon pine cone or maybe hot cocoa cream. Then I saw this was coming back and I'm like, okay, well, he asked for one of my all-time favorites. I think Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit is an acquired taste that you either love or you hate. So I wasn't going to chance it with that. But I do think that waffle cone is a very universally liked scent as long as you don't expect it to smell like a waffle cone. So that's the one that I got him. We'll see what he thinks. I I don't know. I'm excited to give it to him and see though. Another gift that I got was I did get a cinnamon pine cone for my boss because she likes pine scents and I think I think she's really gonna like it. I think this is a very giftable candle, very Christmassy. I did review it. Um, it's really good. I have three for myself. So now one more for her. And then another gift that I picked up. So I picked up a boathouse rope. Totally not my thing. You guys know that. It's a very cologne-y scent, but I have a friend who likes cologne scents a lot, and I thought, well, I'll buy, you know, I smelled it, and I was like, I mean, it smells good. I'll, I'll, I I want to see what my friend thinks of it. So I picked one up. You know, this is, this was another big, like, uh, they're bringing it back, you know, um, They've been doing that a lot lately, which is cool, bringing back the old scents. But this along with French Baguette, this was probably like the second most hyped return of the returning scents that they brought back for this day. Here's the thing about it. So here's the thing about cologne scents with me, first of all. I like smelling them on cold sniff. Just the same way that I like smelling a men's, like a, like a dude who smells good, like his cologne smells really good. That's good when you just catch a whiff. But that's it. I don't want to smell it consistently. You know, if I am hanging out with a guy and every breath I take, I'm smelling his cologne, he's wearing too much cologne. So that's why I don't like cologne scented candles, I feel like they're just too much for me. But yeah, this one does smell good. But I think at the end, I get a little bit of a dill pickle smell. Like, just at the very end, it kind of gets a little sour. And it smells like Clausen's. I, just a little. Am I crazy? Does anyone else think that this candle smells like pickles? I just kind of do. And I still like it, weirdly. But just a little at the end. Anyway, so that's my thoughts on that one. Y'all think I'm crazy now. I can't trust anything else I'm going to say. <laughs> I picked up a, uh, a horribly, horribly packaged girl power strawberry cupcake. This is a great scent. I feel like the first time that it came out, it didn't throw well, but this version does throw pretty well. And I think I just had one. So now I've got, you know, one backup and mm, it's a great scent. Just, just a terribly stupid label. So grab that and that was kind of impulse. I didn't plan on getting that, but I also didn't know that they would have it. Saw that, got it. And then there's only one more. So I did pick up a gelato. And I knew that this was coming back from 20, what was this? It says 2013. Yeah, okay, so 2013 this came out in the Italian collection, I want to say, along with the espresso. And yeah, yeah, that was the collection. I remember having the first one. It was light pink. And it smelled really good on cold, but there was something about it when it was burning that I didn't like. I think I remember that it smelled a little chemically to me. And a lot of other people really liked it. But I remembered that I thought it smelled chemically, so I didn't plan on picking any up at the sale at all. And then when I got there and I smelled it again in person, I decided to try one, give it one more shot. And it's probably going to be the same thing, but it does smell so darn good on cold. I mean, it's, mm, it's great. I could smell this all day. I'll have to just see. Haven't burned it yet. I'll have to see if I get the same chemicaliness that I remember getting in 2013. I hope I don't, but then if I don't and I really love it, then I wish I had gotten more, and I doubt there are any left at this point. I don't know. We'll see. Um, stay tuned to Instagram if you want to see what I think of it after I burn it. I'm probably going to burn it after I film this, actually. So anyway, that was it. That was the entire uh, Candle Day experience for me, <laughs> and uh, next year, I don't know if I'll do it. Um, I think, you know, 
there might be something to be said for just only just going online to buy like the French baguette or the ones that are just coming out for that day only if you have to have them. Uh, but I say that now and <laughs> You know, who knows how I'll feel next year. But anyway, I'm kind of done with Bath & Body Works shopping now for uh, the season, I guess. Like I, I, don't, I can't say for the year because spring test candles will be coming out soon. I don't know if I'll be getting them or not, but, you know, who knows. Um, and then, you know, semi-annual sale and all of that uh, will come next. But there's nothing else on my list. There's, like, nothing on my list right now that I need to get. Because I also went online and I bought myself four hot cocoa cream lotions when they were on sale for $5. And also I had 25% off. And I got the little light-up Christmas tree candle topper. So... That's it. That was the only thing, the only things that were left on my list uh, was that stuff right there and these candles. So, um, you know, famous last words, but I think I'm done for now. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I've been paying attention to Instagram. I've enjoyed watching everybody's hauls roll in from Candle Day. Uh, sorry, this was kind of a rambly video. It was more of a, a conversation than, than just like a haul or whatever, but Hey, you know, you never know what you're going to get over here at my channel. Um, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Candles and Music. Bye.